Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We're doing countdown to 2026, 10 integrals in 10 days, and this is integral number seven. This one was sent in from a loyal subscriber who gives me just the loveliest little problems to work through, and I thought I'd share it with you all. So we have indefinite integral of one over one plus sine x plus one over one plus cosecant x plus one over one plus cosine x plus one over one plus secant x plus one over one plus tangent x plus one over one plus cotangent x dx. That's a mouthful. Now, my hint to you is, even though this looks intimidating, it's actually a very cute and lovely integral. You just need to find a clever way to rewrite the integrand, and then you can just be on your merry little way. So observe if y is an algebraic expression, then we can make the following statement. And I want you to observe something about the terms in the integrand. Sine of x and cosecant x, those are reciprocal functions, right? Cosecant x is one over sine x. So essentially what we're doing is we're adding one over one plus a trig function plus one over one plus the reciprocal of that trig function. And we're doing that three times, yes? Okay, let's focus on just simplifying this expression here and see if we can make a generalization. So I'm gonna multiply the second expression through top and bottom by y, and then now we're gonna have one over one plus y plus y over, then in the denominator I'm gonna have y plus one. Oh, and then now we have a common denominator, so I just have one plus y over y plus one, which gives us, very good, one. So then what can be concluded? So we know now this is gonna hold for three sets, right, of terms in our integrand. One over one plus sine x plus one over one plus cosecant x, what would that simplify to? Exactly, that would just be one. And then one over one plus cosine x plus one over one plus secant x, that would just give us one. And similarly, one over one plus tangent x plus one over one plus cotangent x also gives us one. So really, what are we integrating? Do, 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 do. We just have the integral of one plus one plus one dx, which is integral three dx, which gives us 3x plus c. Woohoo! See, it was definitely cute, manageable, and ugh, it's a great party trick. You could show your friends, say, look at this insane looking integral that ends up being ever so lovely. Okay, I thought I'd keep it short and sweet today to not take up too much of anybody's time, but don't worry, I have some more beefy ones coming your way. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you spotted the little algebraic cleanup trick, let me know in the comments below if you did something entirely different. Maybe you just went down some spiral. I don't know. Did it lead you anywhere? I'm very curious to hear. Thank you guys so much for your support. I hope you're enjoying the countdown. I like reading all of your comments too. And I'll be back sooner than later, actually tomorrow, if you will. Bye.